there are many things you will need to know on your way to becoming an operations specialist. And this is one of the first. Every creature, every person, every nation depends for survival on its ability to perceive and react to danger. By nature, the sea can be a dangerous environment, full of immense and uncontrollable energies. A ship in the service of the United States Navy is not only exposed to the natural dangers of the sea, it's also on the perimeter of national defense. Compared to supersonic planes or missiles, the ship could be a sitting target, unless, unless you can anticipate danger long before it happens, even in a storm, even in poor visibility, even hundreds of miles away. On board nearly every ship in the Navy, there's a nerve center like this one. It's a place you're going to be learning quite a lot about. The Combat Information Center, CIC. This is where the ship's radar operations are carried out. These men are members of the CIC team. Their rate is one you'll be interested in. They're operations specialists. The scene is confusing at first. Seven, rain, 28. The laws of science and electronics paint a message on a radar screen. Switchbox 200. The message is read aloud. Bomb pressure, bogey 358, 16. Heard. 200. And recorded. 060. And reviewed. Simultaneously, other information is being organized in the same way. Sunk Alpha Bear, three, four, five, rain, 17,500 yards. Sunk Bravo Bear, three, three, seven, rain, 28,000 yards. Skunk Alpha tracking 070, 35. At a glance, a trained evaluator can grasp the whole situation and make his decision. Report Skunk Alpha to the bridge and inform him we're taking him under fire at this time. Bridge combat, Skunk Alpha, bearing 345, range 17,500 yards. Course 050, speed 15 knots. We are taking Skunk Alpha on the fire this time. Bridge UB plot combat, we have a time. Evaluator, we have a Judy on Golf 3. Intercept looks good. Tell the bridge our captain's Judy on Golf 3. This is Bone Crusher, Roger, Fox 1, Fox 2. Grand Slam on Golf 3. Out. Evaluator, Grand Slam, Golf 3 with Cap. Report to Alpha Whiskey and to the bridge, and we've splashed the raid to the north. Inform Alpha Whiskey, our Cap is resuming station. In the late 1930s, the U.S. Navy began to outfit its ships with a primitive radar. At the time, it was one of the best kept secrets in the world, and for a very good reason. In the next few years, it would change all the rules and dimensions of naval warfare. Some say radar was the weapon that won the war. The great battles of World War II, like the Battle of Coral Sea, were fought with increasing reliance on radar information. The radar became so precise, an operator could see the path of his own shells. If they fell short of the target, he could report the corrections to gunnery. During the night actions around Guadalcanal, it became apparent that radar was so important it had to have a compartment of its own. The Combat Information Center quickly became a clearinghouse for all sorts of information and messages passing throughout the ship and between other vessels. By the end of World War II, the CIC had become the nerve center of combat operations. Today, 
the demand for long-range detection and instant response has emphasized the importance of the operation specialist. As operation specialists, you will inherit three decades of increasing responsibilities and a central role in the ship's operations. Morning class. At the training center, you will learn the fundamentals necessary for your combat effectiveness as a member of the CIC team. The same as every search radar we have. Your instructors have had all the experience in the book. Is our primary means of collection within CIC. And a lot you won't find in books. Now this week in particular, we'll be working with the SPA 25 repeater. You'll find that most of the students here really enjoy this portion of the work because this is their first chance of getting a hands on to any of the operating equipment. The radar is our primary means of gathering information to or the operations specialist has to be able to operate the repeater with accuracy. He has to be able to do it rapidly and get the right information out of it the first time because it won't be there. His targets move all the time and if he's slow, if he has trouble with the repeater, he cannot get an accurate target information from him. All right, gentlemen, we're going to start the spy performance test. You've had ample time in the classroom to prepare. You've had night, uh, night class instructors available to you. Right now, it's all up to you. We're going to see how well you perform on the equipment, the actual equipment, in a performance test. First thing I'd like you to do is get a bearing and range to any contact. My philosophy on uh, getting a trainee through this school is to not so much get him through here with a high scholastic average, but to have a good feeling uh, for the equipment when he goes to sea. If you're having any problems, we have night instructors available to you until about 2,200 hours. Any of the instructors also might be able to help you. If you see one walking down a passageway and you have a question, just ask him. I'm sure they'll be happy to help you. You are going to find there are many different kinds of radar and some very specialized information systems that go along with them. Aircraft and missiles can approach at incredible speeds, 20 and 30 miles each minute. Air search radar can see over the horizon and give warning. Air plot takes this raw information and refines it into usable facts. The location of any ship or low-flying aircraft is pinpointed by surface search radar. This information is then translated to course and speed using a plotting table like this Dead Reckoning Tracer, or DRT. Right even minute. One, five, six. Twenty-one thousand, three hundred and sixty. The DRT gives a precise picture of surface contacts and electronic intercepts. He's a friendly. Make sure you got friendly symbols down there. We're going to be working CPAs this morning. CPA, closest point of approach. With the maneuvering board, computations can be made to determine a target's closest point of approach in relation to your own ship. him down here on your line. The captain wants to know how close we're going to come to you from that ship. Without moving your parallels, move it over to the center and always reading in the same direction. Weather girl, this is Slugger McGee. Radio check, over. This is fighting buddy, Roger, out. One of your most important skills will be communications, using operational terminology and proper communications procedures. Roger, out. This being week 12, when we're nearly through with school, it is the most important for us to go into our complex section of our rate. Now, ASW is used to deny the enemy the effective use of his submarine. Now, this can be accomplished. All of the things you learn will give you a foundation for advanced radar and CIC tasks. Where we go out and try to locate and destroy his submarine. Perhaps the most valuable and exciting moments in the whole training process will occur when you begin simulated training exercises in the CIC mock-up. All the information made available from the radars and refined by the various plotting techniques is coordinated so the evaluators can make their recommendations to command. 
Here, in a glance, is the surface status, surface summary, vertical plot, the air status, and other boards, including a record of the communications channels throughout the information network. Communications is necessarily a primary function of the CIC. After you've learned radar's language, you become an interpreter for everyone else who needs that information. So it's up to you to get the news in and out, quickly and accurately. To do that, you'll be using sound-powered phones, multi-channel intercom circuits, and radio telephones. You'll learn to use all of them and know how to construct messages and how to keep track of all the message traffic. This is where all the individual pieces of training will come together. Put the room mark up, stand by, start the problem, start the clocks. This is where you will begin to know the satisfaction that comes from efficient teamwork. Foxtrot. Foxtrot 1, new bogey, red, 0, 9, 0, 1, 2, 0. The work itself will become second nature to you as you fill every job in the CIC and Fill it well. Whiskey, this is Alpha Whiskey. Bogey, Fox Route 1. Bird target. Bird's tight. Break. Fox Route over. This is Fox Route. Roger out. Stand by to mark Skunk Alpha. Bearing 0, zero 1 degrees, 29,000 yards. What I like about the mock up is that you're putting everything you've learned uh, to practice. Uh, as you do, Fox you find it Bravo. comes a little bit easier. Even though you're in a, a building somewhere, you do get a sense of, uh, some sort of a sense of reality uh, of what you're going to be doing on the ship. Yeah, I enjoy that very much. Being right where the action is, being uh, right where everything's going on, being where the decisions are being made. I've enjoyed the school tremendously. You learn basics more than particulars. And uh, everything changes so rapidly, you don't ever really get bored with anything. You go on navigation one week, to, uh, and then a scope the next week, and uh, communication. And it keeps your interest. By keeping your interest, you do pick up a great deal. Now that I'm graduating, I already have my ship assignment, and I'm going to Charleston, USS Borderline, the destroyer. And uh, I feel very good about it. Along about this time, everybody is beginning to wonder where they're headed next. Well, you can count on one thing. There's a ship in your future. I took my training uh, at A school, uh, Great Lakes. They give you the basics there. It's just you have to supplement that with whatever knowledge they give you after that. Well, our responsibility mainly is uh, to give the recommendations to the officer deck to make the best tactical recommendation at the time and at the base it on all information on hand. Well, that's what our training is all about. If uh, we're not prepared, well, we might as well not go out. Next month I'll be attending uh, one class. It's uh, advanced CIC uh, procedures. It all depends on what you make of it. If you want to uh, go far, you can go far because this, this rate is wide open. We look for a man who is intelligent and is able to cope with pressure situations. For the most part, they come with a, with a very good knowledge. Every day, uh, changes come into pubs, uh, publications, doctrine, procedures. And the, uh, the operations specialist has to keep himself abreast of all these different changes in order to uh, do his job in a correct way. With our defensive posture, I'd, it requires, first of all, a good fundamental knowledge of what they're doing. And then they've got to be able to almost instantaneously react and and get out the proper recommendations to command and control. As you begin the training that will one day lead each of you to a ship heading out to sea, try to keep in mind the whole picture. A ship is a small island moving in a vast and unpredictable water world where everything depends on how well the men who serve aboard can work together. Right, zero, four, five, even though you're not yet aboard a ship, your job has...